Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Uh, I've done a couple of readings that were a bit difficult uh, today involving a black truck driver who was attacked by a canine unit and Ron DeSantis and his African-American studies that they're teaching to middle schoolers. And I, I want to end the, the readings on this day on a higher note. So I was trying to think of how I could do that, and John Lewis came to mind. Civil rights activist, who died when he was eight years old, multi-times elected to the House of Representatives, and apparently he's just getting a forever stamp. So go out and get your John Lewis forever stamps. <laughs> Show your, your woke cred. It's, it's, it's embarrassing what's going on in this country right now. It truly is. Um... But I want to do a, a channeled reading for uh, John Lewis. I haven't done a, a, a message from the other side in a while. And I think, it's, I think it's high time that we hear what John Lewis has to share with us. Again, I just had a couple of hard readings on that one. Maybe John can give me something a little bit more uplifting. So, John, I've got my smoky quartz and my golden healer towers out here. Some lavenderite. A beautiful heart surrounded by stones. Let's see what John Lewis has for us. Entertainment purposes only. What message does John Lewis have for us from the other side? I'm using the uh, this the Sarah Marchetti uh, tar Dream Tarot. Oh God, I got the, the name all wrong. Tarot of Dreams deck. Okay, so center on this reading is the Ace of Coins. So I think. It's the powerful start of health and money. Um, a lot of the trouble that we're having in this country right now is people wanting money and wanting lots of money, but they're not using that money for the health and well-being of the citizens of this country, and certainly by the most marginalized communities. They're using it for their own personal uh, strength, as this case, uh, you can see this guy is lifting this coin above his head like a weightlifter. You know, and, I th and that's a great image, because with great wealth and great power comes great responsibility. And what we're seeing right now is the people in this country that have the wealth and the power are not showing great responsibility. Now, I get hammered on this every once in a while, but Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, amongst others, are trying to give money back. Uh, Jeff Bezos' ex-wife, um, Melinda Gates, also. I think the women are doing a better job than the men. But they have, they, they get it. They understand what philanthropy is. And... You know, what good does it do to hoard that money? When you have that money, you have the, you're have you in that unique position that you can start some uh, a foundation, a, a philanthropic, philanthropic uh, goal that you get to choose. You get to do it. You get to pick what you want, something that you think is of value, and then dump a bunch of money in it to see it grow. It's like growing a plant, and you get to choose the plant. Um, what are we going to cross it with? The strength card. Um, maintain your strength. Do not give up your strength. Do not give up uh, to the people that would hoard money and try and keep people down. Uh, again, America's right on the cusp of an authoritarian government and an oligarchy with all the money being held up top. And he's, his, his, what he's telling you is America is strong. You can fight this and overcome. Also, remember that pentacles are about health, too. So as the wealth is distributed, the health of the United States becomes stronger. As the low, as the um, the bottom of the pyramid, you got pyramids up here. As the right now, the pyramid, they want all the money on top and little money on the bottom, so the pyramid's inverted. You need to get this pyramid where the base of the pyramid has the most money and the top has a little bit, because then you're on a firm foundation. We have the strength to do this. We can do this. Do not give up. Do not despair. We can do this. In the past, we have the emperor. Um, throughout the history of mankind, there's always been people. There've always been people who have put themselves on top. They're the emperor. They get all the wealth. It's the inverted pyramid. 
you know, where the, the top has all the money and the bottom has nothing. Um, and we're moving away from that. As we enter into this age of Aquarius, we're going to move from this emperor model into something probably more like a matriarchy where everybody is being taken care of. But again, this is the past and this is what we're overcoming with this money in this Ace of Pentacles. I do love these cards. The pictures and the color saturation is amazing. Current situation is the Three of Wands. Um, so it's we're currently, as we're entering in the age of Aquarius, we have to be patient as this new age is being integrated. We can't change it overnight because there's too many institutional, um, there's too many institutions in place. The wealth is institutionalized up. We need to break down the, the support mechanisms that hold this inverted pyramid up so that we can rebuild it, the pyramid, the right way up from the ground up to the point. It's going to take a while. You need to be patient, which is why you have this strength card um, as your cross. It's again, it, we will get this done, but it requires strength on our part. But ultimately, on a long enough timeline, we win on this. Current situation or the overarching energy is the two of wands. There's a lot of planning going on here. The doors are about to open. The doors, the, the, the doors have been opening, and this is what we're waiting for now, is that ship to come in. We've we started opening the doors on this process. Again, fighting that big money, showing the strength, moving away from the emperor. The doors are opening to open that new age that's coming in. The lesson to be learned is the fool. When this new age comes in, it's a new journey and we all start over. It's a new journey and the fool can be, you know, on the low energy is the foolish card, but it's also, as Lind, uh, as uh, Lena was saying in one of her recent videos, it's also the most enlightened card. You've learned your lesson, you've completed a cycle, and now you're starting a new cycle. This is the age of Aquarius coming in and everything changes. The outcome is now the queen of coins. Instead of the ace of coins being here by this one man, I'm the ace of coins, I have everything, I'm the emperor. Now you have the queen of coins. You now have the divine feminine coming in. She's not interested in wealth. She's not interested in the accumulation of wealth and the hoarding of money. She's interested in taking care of everyone around her. And making sure everybody has enough. That nobody goes hungry. Nobody goes thirsty. Nobody goes unclothed. Nobody goes unhoused. Everybody's taken care of. And when everybody's taken care of, you've done it. You've won. Underneath it all, the Two of Cups. This is, you know, about our relationships uh, and loving and respecting each other. Right now, we are like in the antithesis of the Two of Cups. We're all at each other's throats, fighting. And, and really what it is, is the, the old way, the Emperor's way is in its death throes. And they're fighting and kicking and screaming and doing everything they can to shove all the money up to the top and impose their will on others. But there's too many people who don't want that. And John Lewis is letting us know that. Come together. Come together in strength. It's... It's like, um, was it Hands Across the, hands across America when everybody was joining hands? I th believe it was to fight cancer or something like that. You know, you join hands, you interlock your arms, and you become a unifying force on that one. And it overcomes any of the individuals on that. So we will win this. This, this time will pass. And those people that are being miserable, wretched people they go by the wayside and a new age is coming. <sighs> Can't come soon enough, <laughs> but I'm notoriously impatient. Okay, but yeah, that's that's where that three of wands is a message for me. <laughs> yesterday, I want it yesterday. We're not there yet. Got to break everything down. All right. Thank you for uh, sticking with uh, me on this reading. I hope you found it insightful and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.